Hello, everybody, and welcome to the GamePad Podcast, episode 34. I'm Mark. I'm Artavius. And I'm Sarah. And the GamePad Podcast is the only podcast in the world that gives you a plus five charisma boost. That's a <laughs> guaranteed fact. Very nice. nice. Guaranteed. So, enjoy. I listened to five episodes this week. Holy Ooh. shit, that's like I'm, yeah, yeah. your charisma the fuck out. Are we legally allowed to talk to you? Um, yeah, we're not cool enough, actually. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I talk to everyone. That's why my charisma is so high. Oh, Aww. that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you guys for uh, checking us out and everything. We appreciate you tuning in and listening and all that jazz, wherever you're uh, listening from. Uh, thanks for joining us. We got a lot to talk about today, lots of uh, happenings. Uh, first of which being the uh, the new Google Activision deal that just went down like literally a couple hours ago it was yeah. announced uh, so basically what happened is Activision who is the owner of Call of Duty League which is starting this weekend and well actually depending on when you're listening to this it was a few days ago yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Overwatch League which starts later in February uh, there was a Twitch uh, streaming deal originally put in place uh, but I guess that deal ran out, and Google stepped in and was like, hey, let's get in on some of this. And uh, so now Call of Duty League and Overwatch League and Hearthstone Esports are all going to be streamed exclusively to YouTube uh, Live. And uh, hmm. Google it, Google's doing some back-end thing with, like, a cloud service, so, like, all the games are going to be, like, run on their, like, weird cloud storage thingy. And it's, I guess that makes it's better for them, right. like because obviously Twitch couldn't fucking offer them that. So yeah. it's like a huge partnership between the two, and apparently uh, is worth a little less money than the Twitch partnership. So which is very interesting that Activision crazy. took less money on something. <laughs> yeah, but it, you know it, it may have been a, a strategic like uh, long term move for right. them. So okay. it makes sense, but uh, yeah, just super interesting because kind of caught everyone a little off guard, and like nobody, not a lot of people go to YouTube Live for like game streams and stuff. I feel like it's in like it's, it's growing, one of those things but, where they didn't really start investing in it until yeah. this year, and yeah. like really towards the end of the year. Mm. So like ever since that whole you know mixer picking up Ninja and Shroud, like. You know, YouTube's just like, we might as well get into this space. Yeah. And as right. you can see, Facebook is also in the space now. Yeah. Like, you know, streaming is just a massive thing. So, mm-hmm. like, what sort of threw me off with this whole announcement was, like, the timing of it. Because... Yeah, like, literally the weekend before. Yeah. Like, before that, no one knew where Call of Duty League was going to stream. <laughs> I feel like they... They did something similar with Twitch the first season of Overwatch League. It was like announced like pretty much the week of that like Twitch entered this partnership with them. Yeah, but like I think that was for the main deal, but we all that was my chair. My oh, body. okay. <laughs> but my, <laughs> I was like, oh no, the table's breaking. <laughs> you know, but like it, it was just sort of up in the air. And, you know, like Overwatch League, we knew it was going to be on Twitch, but we didn't know how long. It was going well, to like, stay on Twitch. The original thing with Overwatch League was like their app, and then um, there was like an esports website or something that was going to be streaming the games. But then the Twitch thing happened, and Twitch like took it over and had the exclusive deal. So like even their app and stuff, it was like the Twitch stream, like yeah. just kind of rebranded. Yeah. So, but yeah, like just kind of caught everybody off guard with YouTube. Maybe it's harder to get the analytics from YouTube, and so Twitch is, like, moving over there to, you know, because apparently they were paying for uh, views for Twitch. We want to talk, you know, (laughs) we don't know how... Wait, what? No, they weren't. That that was actually (laughs) a slam piece that uh, my good buddy Slasher fucking (laughs) threw up into the (laughs) internet. Uh, The controversy was that Overwatch League and Activision and stuff were, like, putting, like, the, uh, not just the games, but, like, the the finals, like, on ads that were, like, auto-playing on websites and stuff. Yeah. And everyone was like, oh, you know, they're 
they're padding their numbers because it's like auto playing. So like if you, they assumed if you were on that page, it contributed to like the overall watch number. What the truth was was that unless you interacted with that video ad thing, right. would, you wouldn't, you weren't yeah. contributing to that number at all. Or at least that's what they're telling us. But no, that's actually <laughs> what happened because Slasher actually redacted it like afterwards and was like, oh, that's my bad. You know, you know bullshit <laughs> Slasher that, you know. No, I feel well. like that's, I feel like that's a reasonable mistake. Yeah. He definitely should have gotten more info. Well, I mean, it, it, he didn't know, have That's a great, like, He didn't assumption. have info. Like, he just saw that and like jumped on it. Yeah. And, you know, as a journalist, that's not something you're supposed to do. <laughs> as a journalist, that's what everyone right. does. That's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> like, like, that's there, the difference. Ever since it became, like, entertaining, you know, ratings and stuff like that. Right. So, yeah. yeah. But it's it still not, that still doesn't make it right. So Look, it's his, it's his hot take, okay? <laughs> it's, a, it's a shitty hot this take. Is, this is his career, bro. Right. Right. It's a shitty career. <laughs> you know, he's got to beat uh, King Michael. But, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm kind of excited to be honest. I I'm curious as to like how YouTube does it versus Twitch because I got, I don't I spend collectively I've spent maybe like ten minutes of like YouTube live streams versus anything. So yeah. like right. I'm not I I'm not well versed with the YouTube live. I <laughs> you live on YouTube, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I'm like I, at first I was debating on whether or not to like talk about how much time I spend on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but I literally spend at least, let's see, carry the two, <laughs> so probably about five hours a day on YouTube. Jesus. That's about the same time that Your Trump YouTube's spends wet tweeting. Dream. <laughs> yeah. I have like, nice. you know, just like, it's not like I'm watching it, but I, I drive a lot yeah, for work. I have it, lots right. of lull time and all the videos. I, I don't watch TV. I don't watch Netflix. Right. I just watch YouTube videos yeah. and keep up with news and stuff, mm. you know. And and so like this for me, I don't know. I feel like since I'm already on their Twitch, I have to go out of my way, you know. Uh, so for a YouTuber, this is uh, that's right. Nice. Yeah. You're, I, you're staying on this the one app. Ideal. The one thing though, I wonder like how are they going to do the uh, like you could win the tokens and stuff like that by watching. Yeah, I don't know if YouTube. I again, I I don't I know nothing about YouTube Live and all that stuff, but I don't know if they're gonna do because like the last one was like a Twitch Prime something or other yeah right. thing that you could pay like money for yeah, uh, and then the tokens that you were awarded for watching it and linking your account. I don't think you can link a YouTube account right now with Blizzard. Yeah, then maybe with this Coming Google deal, something. like it, they'll could. they'll work on that right. back end for you. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm curious though. Like, I really apparently the uh, it's more steady of a stream than Twitch is. I could see that. Like, it's it's just the whole YouTube platform is just way more stable. I've heard. Yeah. So like, it it's a good move. I think. I mean, the infrastructure. Yeah, it's just infinitely better than Twitch. Yeah. I feel like at this point. Um, so yeah, it should be should be interesting to see. I don't know. I I. I I think it would help immensely as far as like viewership goes. Yeah. YouTube has just way more. They don't even yeah. compete. And like it's way more like a casual fan base, I think, there. Yeah. Right. But also, uh, and this is something that we ran into for like the first two seasons of Overwatch League, like the <coughs> Apple TV that I have, there was no Twitch app for like pretty much all of season one and season two. Like I had to use this weird like yeah, off brand right. Twitch restreamer thing just to watch the games on my TV. Um, but obviously YouTube app is on like everything. So you're yeah. going to be able to access yeah. this on everything, <laughs> you know, whether you want to or not. So, and I'm sure they're going to push that shit like in front of your, your recommended and everything, yeah. you know, like all up in it. So I, I, I'd imagine viewership's probably going to be even better. If, on the, YouTube yeah, if they and Twitch. get the people to YouTube, absolutely. I could see it. Yeah. And, and the YouTube UI is just a little more friendly, I think, too. Yeah. And there's also one thing with Twitch, too. There's a culture that comes with Twitch. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, Twitch <laughs> chat is like, I'm looking forward to the not having to see that yeah, at all. It's its own it's beast. Garbage. It's pretty toxic. <laughs> and, I mean, you still have chat on YouTube and things like that. but Right. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to like be just as insane yeah. like with the amount of people watching it. But like, I don't know, with Twitch, it's just weird like youtube comments are pretty fucking toxic too yeah but a lot of them are kids like it's right 
Well, and but like on Twitch, it was just like balance. they. It's just general toxicity. Yeah, they, Twitch. they just try to be yeah. like <laughs> assholes on Twitch. <laughs> and they have like the emotes and stuff to sort of help promote that. Though that we would argue, you know, some people would argue that those emotes aren't really racist, or you know, <laughs> right? But you know that does tw- uh, does YouTube have like emotes and stuff? Is there like yeah? It's like I think they have stickers and stuff. Oh, uh, hmm. hmm. I wonder how many people are going to start switching over to YouTube Live then. I don't like. There's been YouTube yeah. has poached a couple of Twitch streamers, like just, just like have uh, Facebook and Mixer have been. Mm-hmm. Um, YouTube's been doing it as well. Hmm. Yeah. So this like, could be a good place for people to start out, though. It could be, yeah. I mean, like it, at this point, like between like the three or four of them or whatever. I guess three. Like we don't really count D Live or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Deal, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like this is going to be the most yeah one Twitch, growing. YouTube, Facebook, and Mixer. So I guess four. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's not like a bad place to start out. Right. Really, like if you're starting out streaming, I don't think there's really like a bad choice to be had. It just depends on like features and community that you exactly. like are focusing on. So it yeah, it just really depends. Like some places are bigger than others, you know. So like right. Twitch obviously being more established mm-hmm. there's sort of this prestige that comes along with being a Twitch streamer and right like, like being sort of initiated an into that exactly <laughs> yeah. you know it's <laughs> whereas YouTube and Facebook is very laid back and chill right. there's no like they're pretty much starting where Twitch began except you know with a way more money than Twitch had yeah. when they started like infinitely more it's yeah true. Um, so like I've been watching a lot of Facebook live streams lately just mm-hmm. you know to see what people are doing right and the views are absolutely there oh yeah you for know sure. just mm. people with thousands of views playing all kinds of things like mm. you know like I've been watching a guy stream Slither EO <laughs> what With Slither EO what is that Slither IO yeah it's Slither a IO. Uh, yeah it's a game where you start off as a tiny little worm hmm. and you eat other worms or where you eat like food and stuff scattered all around the board and you're playing with other players oh. and as you eat you grow bigger and bigger and if you hit another worm you'll turn into food for them to eat and get bigger with oh. so you have to survive as long as you can it while growing like a mobile like, game it is yeah. a mobile yeah oh, it actually okay. start off as a computer like browser game oh and yeah it just like mm. it's so satisfying to watch but yeah that guy's pulling in like last time I saw him, he had about twenty over two thousand nice. viewers. Which That's crazy for Slither EO, <laughs> right? You can't right. really do that on Twitch, you know. Twitch, nah, well, there, I don't know. There are like games that are very popular mm-hmm. on Twitch, you know. So the top games tend to be the most mainstream games, right? Uh, whereas I find that on Facebook. For some reason, I don't know what the fucking algorithm is, but it is able to just put people into communities that they never thought they would watch. <laughs> like, and, and though we know the targeting, like how targeting works on Facebook too, it's right. so precise to where, you know, you can probably find your fans a lot easier on Facebook. That makes for yeah. the, you know if you're paying for the marketing for it, right? Because, like I said, we. We've done a few ads on there, and the way that you can target people oh, it's is pretty just creepy. absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Right. Yeah, the, the, you zone in on, like, you know, specific people. Like, you could, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just insane. Like, yeah. what they're into, if their parents are still married. Yeah, like, it's, like, it's crazy. Like, how what many stains they, they have in, in their toilet. Yeah. Like, all kinds. <laughs> it's crazy. I have, like, we we have been streaming to, like, uh, Twitch and Facebook lately, mm-hmm. and I, I've noticed that like the more popular games on Facebook do way better on Facebook versus Twitch. But then like we played Killing Floor the other day, and I had like one yeah. view on Facebook, but then you had like forty eight on Twitch. Yeah. Like by the time the stream ended, so like I think the niche games and stuff do better on Twitch, whereas like the the more mainstream ones might do better on Facebook, just because it's like a broader audience on there. And slightly more casual. Yeah. I'm not really. Sh- well, Killing Floor Two is also like it, it's a fairly decent um, community on Twitch mm. as well. So that I mean that definitely had some thing to do with it. Just right. like people look into it, and we had more than you know five six viewers at a time in there. Yeah. So people were like, "Oh man, this guy has you know a few views. Let's check him out." Right. You know? But 
And I think we peaked at like two on Facebook yeah. in like the first two minutes. <laughs> and yeah. that was it pretty much for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah, the Facebook thing will come in time. Yeah, I think. well, and I I do think it's slightly game based. Just you know, it because it, like their tag system is weird too on the Facebook. Yeah, like when you're streaming to Facebook, it's like, uh, and honestly, anything like when you're trying to like when you upload a video and you're trying to like do meta tags and stuff, like you'll type in like video games and it'll pop up with like strategy games action games <laughs> yeah uh, uh role-playing games but it's like you can't specify like you know fps or anything like that I and mean, you can't like just type in one you have to select one that they give you yeah that's and like it, categories yeah. made up by like your parents like, yeah they don't really like, know what real categories <laughs> list a bunch are. of video game types i don't know and <laughs> <laughs> let's go to lunch <laughs> that's what it feels like come up with something for now yeah, yeah. probably we'll get to it later. which makes it just hard for like other i think it makes it hard for people on Facebook to like find you then at that point, I, I think unless it, they're like really into role playing games or something. I think they did it that way on purpose to make it so you have to pretty much buy into their marketing, Probably. the Facebook marketing, because if you can oh, for sure. target, I mean, all the streams, the bigger streams I've been watching, they've all have been sponsored. Yeah. yeah. So they just pop up, and I'm just like, "Ooh, that's something I'd be into," because they <laughs> targeted is, yeah. me, <laughs> right. you know, specifically. So maybe YouTube will be better for that. Which I kind of want to know what tags I use, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just like, how did you get me? <laughs> <laughs> he searched for Slither IO in the last ten days. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, he'll like Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It should be interesting to see. People were very much like when I looked online. They're just like, yeah, if they you can still get a, get tokens for Overwatch, then I don't care. That it's on. Yeah, YouTube. I mean, they're gonna, if you're a fan of like Overwatch and Call of Duty, you're you're gonna go wherever the hell it's gonna yeah. be right. streamed at. Like, you know, so is what it is. Uh, another important detail though is that like all the players, they're still allowed to stream to Twitch. There was no like weird exclusivity hey. deal. So like, okay. nice. everyone's still like going to be streaming to twitch and they're like off time or whatever like they're not that's, that's good. good they don't that have to move that would have yeah. been yeah. like absolutely shitty of them to right. do so i think they knew yeah the backlash right and it's like oh they have all these communities built like they're, they're not going to be able to no yeah you know like like even ninja like moving to mixer like his community is big on mixer but it's not as big as it was on twitch mm -hmm. and it's just people don't make that transition you know right you're always going to lose people in that transition yeah so. Uh, a good idea to l let them keep streaming to Twitch and their other platforms and stuff. Yeah, it's the same way. Like Twitch always felt like an inconvenience for me, which is why I sort of like didn't watch Overwatch League as much after season one. Mm. You know, just... that was the only reason I went to Twitch, to be honest. Yeah, uh, like every now and then I'd catch like an XQC or like Shroud stream just yeah for something in the background. But like, or uh, Seagull too. I would watch Seagull every now and then. But like, there was really no other reason for me to be there. <laughs> yeah. And that like, Overwatch League was like the most that I used Twitch for. Yeah. So, like, I, I guess I'm gonna be using YouTube. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to me. watch it at Twitch a shit ton. Like, I spent hours on it. But just after YouTube, YouTube sort of just ate up my mm. my love Everything. and affection. <laughs> but I do want to get back into watching Twitch. It's like I don't like. I am looking forward to like more stable streams and stuff because like Twitch sometimes would just drop and like the quality would just go to shit and it's yeah. like you know my my internet didn't go out it's just Twitch being dumb right now <laughs> pretty much so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what YouTube can uh, can offer both Call of Duty and uh, Overwatch League Call of Duty we get to test out here soon because it's starting uh, tomorrow this, yeah tomorrow yeah we're recording this on a Friday by the way so <laughs> you listening to this on a monday it started you missed it so, <laughs> way to go nice um but yeah so like call of duty league i just discovered the other day it's it's being played on ps4 yeah and i i just assumed originally it was going to be a pc right mm -hmm. esport uh apparently sony threw them like a ton of money oh i'm sure to make it playable <laughs> only on ps4 for the league um wow and I, I okay so like i hate <laughs> the idea but i do think it's probably better for 
casuals to like catch. Yeah. Because like console game and like this isn't a dig at console players or oh, anything. Oh, well, boy, <laughs> let me prepare. <laughs> but console game, like as far as like competitive like esports and stuff go, like especially the FPS, eh, eh, FPS yeah, yeah, games, yeah, yeah. especially the FPS games, uh, they move way slower on console. Like it's just a slower pace for like in general for right. the most part. Um, so I, and that was an issue with Overwatch League is like being played on PC and like, you know, oh, sensitivities so and aims right. going everywhere. It's like, it's really hard to follow to someone that, that has no fucking know. idea what's yeah. going on. So with like a possible slower pace game, it, like Call of Duty being slower pace anyway, and then like the console aspect, I think it'd be easier to watch, which is always like a barrier to entry with any sport. Mm-hmm. Like you look at hockey, it's like, people find that really hard to watch because like you can't see the fucking puck 90 percent of the time on right. tv that like they had a trail like follow it like a little tail for a while and that made it like super easy but they stopped because it was like really hard to like figure out how to do that hmm. um but yeah so it, like I, I don't like that it's being played on console <laughs> like at like such a high competitive pro right scene but like i get it Plus, I think Plus one, money. one yeah. thing to keep in mind as well, like Call of Duty started out on console. Right. Like the Call of Duty didn't really start getting, you know, being played on PC and until like it, it was within the last year or two. Like it's always with Halo. Those two have always <laughs> like Phase Clan started off, you know, console, <laughs> console yeah. um only so it makes sense that they would stay console mm-hmm. for it just to keep with that tradition plus it keeps it open right. i think and accessible to most yeah, players that's another thing is accessibility is like way higher yeah. than a console because like most everyone probably has a ps4 or exactly. xbox or something versus like a high-end gaming rig that they're going to be able to play this stuff on yeah right. like they threw a tournament actually a few days ago it was the challenger tournament and like normal people could come in it was a $250,000 prize nice which was absolutely insane but you know you know everyone showed up there were hundreds of fucking tvs and ps4s there (laughs) probably maybe not it looked like hundreds that was a massive room well technically it wasn't a room there (laughs) it was in a parking garage well th- originally that's what it was announced yeah oh, like no. parking garage yeah the community actually some people in the community not all of them but like this dude posted a video just like yeah by the way challenger is in a parking garage and he shows a video of them and all the tv set up and stuff like that huh. and then people were just like well they have all this money why can't they do the tournament in an actual like right. stadium facility. or something yeah. a facility but Again, and as a few of the pro players pointed out, and Golden Boy actually chimed in too, hmm. it was just like, um, you guys are playing for 250 grand. <laughs> like, why are you giving shit? Like, people right. complaining about right. the venue are yeah. probably going to be out in the first, like, fucking two rounds. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, and it's so true. Before gaming became, like, esports became huge, people <laughs> played competitively like in the bucks. shittiest places yeah. too yeah, like people because of the passion for the game and just the prestige of being the yeah. best like these people have been in so many different just like i've seen smash tournaments in churches they used to do <laughs> tournaments at people's houses yeah i think they could take a heated underground you know car right garage like, yeah that's fine that's kind of funny where yeah. they park the cars though <laughs> oh. the floor up yeah the oh, first like a, one above. yeah the cars were above this was the basement oh. so. <laughs> i follow this page on facebook uh called gaming setups with threatening auras i yeah, also follow was, the I toilets with yeah the threatening toilet auras. one's great <laughs> that was my favorite but uh yeah that one reminds me of the the garage hmm. there's something like that on there nice yeah that'd be funny um so yeah, uh, moving into some Overwatch League news, uh, we have a new host officially, and her name is Zoe. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, is Mark and I's woman crush. Yes, <laughs> God, she's <wonderful>. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Uh, she released like a little ukulele video oh, on yeah. Twitter where she was singing about like how every all of her uh, colleagues are leaving her, Aww. and then like she kind of dropped the bomb that she was the new host and everything oh. and you know she's all oh. nervous and stuff about it 
Uh, but yeah, so adorable. So she's the new host, and uh, also uh, our boy Ryan Force is coming back. Nice. In a uh, leaked wardrobe email, he was listed as someone needing like wardrobe sizes done or some shit like oh, that. Oh, nice! Uh, what a fucking spoiler! Right. Yeah, it, it was like Zoe, <laughs> and then like a couple other like casters and stuff, and then like Ryan Force, like his name, <laughs> uh, Jonathan Larson. Very nice. Was listed That's there, and everyone's funny. like. <laughs> yeah because uh he he was with us in season one and then season two they kicked him to the curb and uh he got a job at espn as like an esports analyst or something like that or like uh li- liaison for overwatch Ooh. league there and uh it sounds like they're bringing him back very That's nice so, i yeah. wonder why like what I was would, transitioned i'm not sure uh i'm really looking forward to him being back though because he is a pro or was a pro player right and with Jake and Custa also being on there, being ex-pro players, like, I think the desk analysis is going to get way better. Yeah, absolutely. And, like, it's just going it to be way more in-depth. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be just better overall for the game. That's so cool. that's going to be nice. Plus the uh, lack of uh, similar is... Oh, <laughs> damn. I'll so. welcome anything that involves similar <laughs> leaving. Man. Jeez. So brutal. I mean, it's, you know, it's when like you, when you mumble slasher. everything... How many S's? Sarah? God, you hate all of them. <laughs> I hate everybody with an S. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone that starts with an S. Nice. Damn, son. Yep. Very nice. Oh, sh- sorry. I just hit the mic with my water. It's, I feel like that's such a lot of pressure for Zoe. Like, I, you know, she, especially if they're just padding the host desk and everything with right. the pro She's players. Right, she's like gold at best. Yeah. <laughs> gold like rank. Dips in the silver here and there. But yeah. like that being said, you don't <laughs> need to be like a top rank player to do that I, stuff. Especially you just for have a to host. love the game. Yeah. You know? That's and really all that matters. Hosting it, you're just MC. Like yeah. you're not like providing super in-depth analysis or yeah. anything. That's... And she was doing analysis before. Yeah. And I mean, she did decent at it before, but it was like, you know, it was missing some of that, like that pro player, yeah. Because you know, they they would mix miss things, you know. Like when we critique, like play, <laughs> we don't n- necessarily know what we're talking right. about, like right. we're because we're fucking gold. Yeah, so we'll like <laughs> think that we see a problem, but it's not really right. the that's, problem. That's not actually the problem. It's exactly. like way over there, you know. <laughs> and so I feel like she has that mindset with us, even though I feel like she's way more because she's around she's pro play. Yeah, yeah. she's exactly. Around it way she's more. a professional. So like I definitely, it's definitely something that I, you know, she's good at. But like she brings I'm glad. diversity to the team exactly. as far as like intellectual, like what, yeah. what you know about this the sport. Exactly. Mm. Like it. Hmm. I'm I'm glad that you know they're finding her a space rather than sort yeah. of like pushing Kicking her, her to the curb off <laughs> because I I you know, did think she was one of the better like God, personalities on that. Oh show. yeah, and everyone sure. loves her so much. Right. And I feel like it'd be a bad move for Blizzard to, like, get rid of one of, like, three women in, yeah. like, major right. esports at this point. Oh, like, yeah. Like, they definitely want that representation there. <laughs> She's a juggernaut. I mean, and there are a lot more nowadays, too. Like, it, it's, it's um, like, females in esports, especially on the, like, caster side and uh, hosting side, mm. you, you're just seeing them a lot more that these leagues are getting, like, professional Right. Like they're getting just so much more attention. And so I think people like companies are paying attention to that. Yeah. Making sure, sure they have their Zoe's, <laughs> making sure they have mm. their Malik's and their Golden Boys. Yep. That's cool. But you know, ain't nothing wrong with having you a little bit of Monte Cristo. <laughs> let me just <laughs> let me just say. <laughs> uh, uh also speaking of old casters, um uh, NYXL announced that uh, Puckett's going to be hosting their uh, homestands. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. so all the local like NYXL games in New York, uh, Puckett's going to be doing the emceeing for. Very nice. Kind of like cool. how like in Atlanta, uh, Golden Boy emceed for us when we were there. Yeah. That's so, cool. Yeah, he's, Puckett's going to be doing all that stuff, Hell for, yeah. at least for New York. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't think anyone else has announced anybody like specifically emceeing for anything, so... We're not really sure how it's going to work. The whole localization thing, we're not really sure how it's going to work yeah. yet. Uh, the fact that Call of Duty League is actually starting out localizing everything is pretty interesting. Um, and we'll see how it works. What's the first game? Dallas Minnesota. versus Minnesota. Yeah, the Minnesota Rockers and the Dallas... I can't remember. The Dallas Hip Hops. Something, <laughs> something like that. We, we talked about it last... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We last did. week. Um, 
But also, uh, speaking of like the Call of Duty opening games and stuff, uh, Gary V, who you know, we're I think I, I'm a big fan of. I can't I can't really <laughs> talk about the other two. They they, they I enjoy like, his content. I like Gary V actually. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Um, when we were taking that trip actually, and I drove back and you passed out, like oh, I was just yeah. listening to Gary V the whole time, <laughs> and then you woke up and we were like. You, you you can turn this if you want to. I'm just like, that all defensive. No! Like, I, 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 don't you touch that. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to sleep. Damn I it. need this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I'm a huge Gary Vee fan, and he's part owner of uh, the Minnesota Rocker Ooh. Call of Duty team. Yeah. And uh, during the, like, initial games, I guess, like for the opening weekend and stuff, he's actually going to be playing a 2v2 match with another oh. owner on another team. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and like, it's especially great because like, he doesn't play games besides like, old school Genesis and stuff. Like, oh. And he doesn't really even do weird. it like, often. So, right. It, it, it'll be really interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see how that works. Will he be able to like, focus on probably not. How, like, what's going on? I'd imagine like, the other Team, like because it's a 2v2 I'd imagine he's gonna have like one of his players play with him right. and it's just gonna be like uh, him, him into falling things. like following yeah. behind him like where do we go <laughs> and just like a hard carry that's funny so yeah but like I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing that and hearing his like his podcast perspective on all of it because yeah. that's that's pretty it's pretty fucking crazy that'll be cool it's yeah. kind of like how in school your teachers would have a, a teacher versus student basketball game <laughs> right it was always like it was very <laughs> cheesy hype thing. but yeah. everyone was super excited to see it right and there's always that like one teacher that plays like recreational basketball yeah. after school and right. is like a god and that's oh, not yeah. a highlight of his year like. yeah he's like, oh, I'm yeah. A dog on all these I'll shitty little kids <laughs> never forget this when i was in second grade we had one of those games really? and yeah like it was crazy the teachers were just killing it of <laughs> course you know they were going against elementary kids but like at one point the teachers couldn't just like let just win normally Right. <laughs> like one of the teachers like slides over to oh like under God. the basket and like gets on all fours and the other teacher <laughs> jumps off of his no back way. and oh. like slams the ball in backwards <laughs> and, like, oh. everyone, everyone lost their shit like That's we were crazy. kids just like ah, my- Oh my that god. teacher became like the god the of legend. the school. Yeah. <laughs> well, but meanwhile, the one on the, like all fours on the bottoms, just like, yeah, you go, Mister yeah. Simmons. <laughs> 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 Jesus, I can't wait till. Uh, never mind. I was gonna make a cuck joke. Oh, no. stop oh, no. oh no! Stop it! I had a teacher like that too. Really? In, I think fourth grade. Like it was a a thing for recess. We would all go outside and play. Um, was it kickball? I think yeah. We would play kickball with the like giant rubber ball, and Mr. Huckabee was his name, and he would like roll the ball. So. He would be the one, like, it's, like, the pitcher, basically. So, like, this kid was, like, running around base, and I remember, like, he went to throw it at him to, like, tag him out. He threw it at him so hard. <laughs> like, Did it, the energy transfer, like, it, knock him it, off? It hit him in the face, and I swear uh, to God, he, like, did a flip. Like, oh, and my God. It was so, don't. And it was, like, immediately that, like, <laughs> don't tell mom, don't tell mom. Like, are you okay? Everything's fine, right? And, like, t- I think his name is Taylor. Like, he gets up. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. And, like, Mr. Huckabee's like, thank fucking God. Yeah. <laughs> don't go to sleep for, like, at least eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> you most likely have a concussion. Right. <laughs> Damn, that's so funny. <laughs> yep. <laughs> my uh, my elementary school had a, a similar teacher. I can't remember his name, but he was the only like male teacher in the entire school, mm-hmm. and everybody really wanted to get his class right in elementary school because he was the only male teacher, and everyone else was like a woman. So it was yeah. like, whoa, guys can be <laughs> teachers. <laughs> but like uh, at recess, he would like uh, take one of those like kickballs and he would like punt it into the air, um. and you know. I'm sure it wasn't like as high as we thought it was because we were like <laughs> right, two but... feet tall at the time. But like it seemed like that thing was like just N- miles anywhere. in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he did the thing where like some days like whoever would catch like that the ball. ball. Yeah, like he would give him like a little coupon, and he had Aww. like his own little like ice cream cart Aww. that he would like push through the uh, the lunchroom Aww. and like you could get so a free cute. ice cream. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking adorable. Yeah, that's every adorable. now and then he would do it. I never, I never got to catch it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was not a coordinated Weak kids child. aren't allowed. Yeah, it was, actually, I did catch it once. Aww. Like someone in front of me missed it, and like it bounced off their hands and it like landed <laughs> in mine, and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> but like it wasn't one of those days where he was doing the like ice cream thing, Aww. and I was like so broken hearted. Oh, <laughs> it's like uh, my one chance. Oh, he should have brought you. One what the next we need day. to do is find I wasn't this. his student, so I, oh, he didn't no. give a shit. Yeah, it was some kid. We need to find this teacher. I'm sure get he's you, dead at Get this you point. your ice cream. I was no, like, no, we're going to get it. He we're gonna, owes you. If he's dead, we'll find his relative. <laughs> One of you owe me a bomb pop. <laughs> you don't know how long this, is, this has been bothering me. I've been waiting for this rocket pop for all my life. <laughs> That's funny. Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of uh, dead people. Oh. I don't know how to transition. <laughs> oh wow! The nice. uh, the coronavirus. <laughs> Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> you got, you're trying to get us canceled. It's, <laughs> it's it's fine. We're not. We're we got banned in China like. Ten oh yeah, that's ago. right. I forgot. I so it's episode. all good. Yep. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the coronavirus is making its way through uh, China and is uh, wreaking havoc, which actually uh, ties into. That's how I should have transitioned. Overwatch League has a bunch of localized oh, yeah. games in China this this season and uh it's a little concerning because there's like <laughs> four teams in China so like a lot of games are going to be played there right. oh, and there's yeah. this like horrible virus outbreak that is like killing people yeah so uh <laughs> do you know what it's from coronas yeah no, what i don't know <laughs> the coronavirus oh. what it came from that's uh, mexico what no Stop. <laughs> <laughs> lord no. have mercy uh people like it's a delicacy to eat bats now like in in china so it's always bats right it's well, always it's, a bat that like yeah. starts the virus that's what it's from it's from Sons this little like bat bowl thing that people were eating and it just got them sick hmm. yeah i saw something about spread. that with snakes too snakes oh really yeah were they on a plane they were Shut in someone's <laughs> belly <laughs> now the oh, coronavirus like is yeah. too <laughs> but that, <laughs> you gotta wash down those snakes yeah. with the corona that could be yeah. something else though. i might be mistaken what, what was i definitely saw the bat thing what was that movie uh snakes on a plane yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> it uh oh man snakes on the train it was about a virus like spreading it's contagion uh, oh is that the name of the movie maybe could you look it up for me <laughs> <laughs> i think it, i want to say it was contagion um but like I don't know, it was like this like worldwide spread disease. I was like just killing people and stuff, like getting everyone sick. And uh, oh yeah, I think so. Was this it? Uh, looks like it. Yes, pretty sure. Yes, it was that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like at the end of the movie, spoilers, they uh like trace the virus back, like the camera does, like. Humans right. are like, oh, we oh, don't know yeah. where it came from. It's just right. weird. But we have this vaccine now, so everything's fine, you know? Um, it, like, decimated the fucking world population. It yeah. was, like, insane. Wow. Um, but, like, the movie, like, as an audience member, you, like, you, like, rewind. the camera, yeah, yeah. it kind of rewinds, like, everything, and you get to see, like, the, uh, like, origin of the virus. Yeah. And it was, like, a bat bit, like, some pig, <laughs> and that pig was slaughtered. And then, like, used in, like, some restaurant. And, like, the chef didn't, like, just so happened to, like, not wash his hands after handling the pig. And then, like, shook hands and took a picture with, like, some lady that was, like, on vacation in that country. And then she took it back to the U.S. and it spread. And it was, like, the the point of that story was that it's bats. It's always fucking bats. (laughs) (laughs) Do you remember that show that we just watched recently with Elijah Wood? That movie? Um, I was watching on TV where he was the, like, he was at a school and the chicken nuggets were tainted? No. Oh my god. Um, was, was I watching that with you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't that none about none th- nothing about that premise sounds familiar to me. Oh no. What I, about the nuggets? Yeah, it was like the same thing. Like the nuggets were contaminated from the chickens and then the, oh. the chicken nuggets at school got contaminated and so the whole movie was about like it was it was like contagion the, junior right basically <laughs> the kids were killing everyone and no, like, just, no. oh, it was so funny Are you sure it was elijah wood i feel like i would have remembered if uh elijah wood was killing people killing kids younglings i'll look for it and i'll find it okay but yeah hmm. but yeah so uh with this coronavirus outbreak now 
uh, it sparked a little bit of a reignition of interest in an old game called Plague Incorporated. <laughs> Plague Inc. That's awesome. Um, yeah. It, it, kind of fucked up, I guess, in a way. But, like, it, for those that don't know, Plague Inc. is a, uh, a mobile game. Or at least it started out as, like, I think it was a web game, actually, originally. But, like, you engineer, like, a virus and mutate it in order to, like, kill the entire world's human population. Yeah. And you have to, like, strategically, like, pick what country you start in and, like, where you spread and how you spread and, like, whether you're a bacterial or viral infection. Or I think they there was a third tier. It was, like, cellular or Yeah, something. there was a Molecular. third tier. There are more now. There's more, I, I'm sure it's gone through several changes. <laughs> but uh, with, with the coronavirus kind of happening, uh, Plague Inc. has seen, like, a huge spike in re-downloads and stuff. In China. Especially in China, yeah. It's actually the number one downloaded app in China right now. Which is That's so funny. fucked up, but like, <laughs> it's pretty funny. I would funny. say morbid. <laughs> morbid. Morbidly, yeah. Morbid curiosity. Um, so I think we all need to move to Greenland because... Because <laughs> that's the winning... Either Greenland or Madagascar. Because <laughs> <laughs> those were the hardest to infect. So, I never played like, if, it. I you know, you to. learn anything from a video game, it's, you know... <laughs> Greenland is the safe zone, yeah. <laughs> Nice. You should play it on download it and play it on your way to yeah, Orlando. I was about to say, we should, well, we should stream it. We should stream. I don't know maybe. if it's really a stream worthy game because it's like literally all like text and just a map, like a static map with like red dots that pop up. So it's not the most exciting game to watch, it's, it's but it's soothing. really addicting. Well, the, po- the, the apocalypse is soothing, Mark. I is don't it? know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't about know about it. So I, that, but but. <laughs> the, the name of the movie, by the way, was Cooties. So, uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very fitting. Yeah. No. <laughs> But it's really good. Cooties. It's got Elijah Wood and uh, <coughs> uh, um, Yoda. Uh, Rain Wilson, isn't that? Um, yeah, Dwight. Oh yeah. Hmm. You saw it, but it was yeah. I don't remember. I think you came in halfway through. Uh, it was so fucking funny though. <laughs> I think like any of those. Like, it was a. Co- it wasn't like a drama. It was a comedy. Oh yeah. Hell, oh, okay. Hella comedy. Okay. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a ridiculous premise. Yeah. Those chicken nuggets are delicious. Yeah, they were so gross remember, too. Remember chi- chi- school chicken nuggets? What? The school chicken nuggets? Well, the one in the movie. Like, oh. They made it. I was like, gonna say my school's chicken nuggets were pretty damn good. Oh my god, no! They the one in the movie like they Wednesdays made it look like day. a moldy gusher. Ugh. They literally like made it awful gush when the kid like bit into it, Ew. and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> that's that's what uh, uh, Jamie Oliver sees anytime you see someone eating a chicken nugget. Oh my god, <laughs> just goo. <laughs> 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 and these kids think it's a fucking delicacy. <laughs> they love him. Poor Jamie Oliver. It's funny. Rest in peace. <laughs> He's not dead. Don't worry about it. He's fine. Jesus. He's living his best life. Jesus. What were you saying? Uh, I don't remember now. Oh, Wednesdays was chicken nugget day at my school, and that's uh, that was one of my favorite that? lunch days. I don't know. I really don't. I can't remember important shit, but I remember Wednesdays was chicken nugget day, <laughs> and Monday and Friday was pizza day. Yeah, I don't remember. Domino's Pizza Day. Thursday, I believe, was like a chicken sandwich. And Tuesday was disgusting. That's all I remember. <laughs> wow. Some, like, green bean casserole bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we did not have that Maybe it was hamburger thing. day. I can't remember. Gross. You I, I was also Domino's in culinary. Pizza? I was in oh, culinary yeah. classes at that point. Yeah. In, in school, we had a culinary arts program. And uh, culinary arts one and two you were basically just helping lunch ladies oh yeah it was maybe weird that's what you remember it's probably why yeah it was it was gross we <laughs> there was a dead rat in our uh, sounds, storage uh, room once no way yeah it was like it was dead in the trap but like it was yeah there <laughs> i never really ate lunch there again <laughs> oh my god <laughs> It's like, uh, I don't think you could no. it's like seeing behind the scenes of like a fast food restaurant you still live like, in right. new york you know? cool. Like when when I lived in New Orleans, like we used to see, like the rats used to fucking serve the food. Yeah. You know? <laughs> They're just like everywhere. You just got you knew you're gonna have some part of a rat in your mouth at some point. <laughs> just like, like hey George, hey RTV. <laughs> 
It's like, what part of the rat touched my food this time? (laughs) (laughs) The ass, Art. The ass. (laughs) All right. Right on. At least it's not the dick. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) If I had to choose. No, I personally. No, never mind. I'm not going to continue with this bit. (laughs) (laughs) It's run its course. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, so Plague Inc. uh, Download today and learn how to uh, survive a virus outbreak because we're probably going to need it soon. Right. There's a, what is it, like a hundred, over a hundred people dead in China or infected? Did we figure that no, out? No, it's over 600 people infected. There's only like 15 Fatalities. Dead. Yeah. Oh. But there's uh, multiple, now it's spreading because there's a couple cases in uh, Europe and then there's a couple cases in Washington state, I believe. Uh-oh. Yeah. And it's, uh, there's more people like they're <laughs> telling everyone that's like maybe been in contact to just like stay home and just like take your temperature every day they're not even hmm. like quarantining them so i, I don't uh, think it's gonna be anything yeah it's probably not a big deal it, it ain't no ebola but it is it rarely memeable. is well yeah. that's what yeah. they said that they're so prepared for it because of ebola but it's not anywhere on the same scale like it, that was a way deadlier virus anyway well yeah. and it it hit africa and which is not set up for any of that so should we make our own like ebola versus coronavirus on plague inc and start them where they started <laughs> originated from and see what that might plague be interesting says I don't, uh, you'd have to like <laughs> you'd have to spread and like mutate the way that like those viruses did and we don't know what coronavirus is going to do yet yeah. well, we could we it's could develop some theories <laughs> it's, we could yeah it's run a simulation right <laughs> inside a simulation <laughs> So I think we, we, we pretty much lose probably more. We're probably going to lose more people from the flu this year than we will coronavirus. Yeah. Shit, almost we almost lost, lost me I was going to say, flu. we almost lost Sarah last oh, week yeah, to the flu. Oh, my God. That was, like, the worst. She was dead. We, like, we couldn't stream one night. Like, we we were going to stream something Thursday, but Y'all she was. Streamed. We were going to, but, like, <laughs> I texted our TV. So I was like, hey, man. I don't think it's a good idea to stream. She is in and out of the bathroom, oh, yeah. just bl- like blowing her brains out into the <laughs> oh, toilet, Jesus. like it's, throwing up. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, not like that. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> throwing up her brains out. <laughs> yeah. No, I couldn't even drink water. Like I would throw the water up. Yeah, it was. And it then was bad. I was just like heaving. Like it was the worst. And I like I'm felt. on my computer playing. I, we were playing I, Overwatch. I ran in. Yeah. I like busted the door. I was like, are you streaming? And he's like, no. And I was like, okay. He's <laughs> 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 like, all right, well, I guess we're not doing that tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then, you okay? You alive? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad day. That was a really bad day. God, I'm so glad I would have to do it. Like, I'll get sick, but it's very tame. Oh, my God. I get sick, horribly sick. I yeah like I'll get it's rare that I get sick it, it was mm-hmm. extra rare that like I was sick for as long as I was last year because I, I was like at a commission a couple yeah. like for like a solid week yeah you were, which is like that's that doesn't happen th- yeah <laughs> Halloween's your favorite holiday and you missed yeah and Halloween. I missed yeah. it I totally missed it I was like <laughs> in bed <laughs> sort of present for the party you'd make an appearance I made an appearance <laughs> and then like died yeah so. I but forgot. then I lived. <laughs> I forgot about this, but um, you remember when swine flu was a thing? Oh, yeah. I was the first possible case in Georgia. Hell, yeah. And I forgot, yeah, I forgot about this, but yeah, I I had a fucking really bad flu, like, right at the outbreak, and I went, to, and I was, like, kind of quarantined. <laughs> Did you Damn. go to the CDC? Well, no, like, I no, I just went to, like, the physician, and they, like, I guess. And they're like, ah, shit, yeah, I've seen like, this before. <laughs> yeah, basically, they were like, mm, no, don't. <laughs> Get out of here. You're not allowed to go to school. <laughs> so I had to stay home for a very long time. But it wasn't swine flu? It wasn't swine flu. What a disappointment. But yeah, I know, right? I was like, if I'm going to have it, I might as well go all out. Right. <laughs> I just have like the normal ass flu. I just flu. got the normal this is flu. dumb. And I had it's it for like a month. Having. Yeah, I wow. had it for like a couple weeks. And I was like, Jeez. God damn, like this isn't even worth it. <laughs> just give me the swine flu. I don't <laughs> Can know. I just get some <laughs> just swine flu? Just end me. <laughs> <laughs> we get a little bit of that swine flu. <laughs> What was a mad cow disease? That was another one, right? I wasn't think, that a, wasn't that that's you not, could you could get mad cow disease. No, though. that's a wives' tale, I think. Right? Was it? I uh, no, that was sure. a thing. You can't get mad mad cow disease. Can you not? No. Is it only a cow thing? The, yeah. I thought it was a thing that people could get. No, that was a scare. I think. That, really? Yeah. What was what was wrong with eating the meat then? Nothing. 
No. <laughs> it was just it was kind of like the KFC thing where people thought the chickens were like, like mutated, mutated chicken product or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's like people thought cow flu would turn you into zombies. Yeah. I actually don't I, remember. I remember like, mad cow, cow disease, mad cow disease, but I don't really remember. Like a whole nobody lot went it. to like McDonald's and stuff because like they really? were scared out of their minds that like the beef was all tainted, like. Meat was going bad in the store because like people wouldn't buy it. Damn, it was pretty crazy for a little bit. But I thought it was because like it was it would like eat your brain or something. It was what? like which might be an exaggeration, but it was like it would do something to like your tissue and it would like degenerate you or something if you caught it. It was like yeah, really really know. hard this to catch. Actually, is this is kind of. Uh... It says that it can begin with symptoms of depression and loss of coordination. Ah, shit. You, oh, you, that's no. textbook <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Especially the coordination. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. It says later dementia s- symptoms appear. <laughs> like, what? I didn't. Is yeah, this real? I think, yeah, it like ate your brain, essentially, from what I understood. <laughs> like, it would just like deteriorate your brain it says if you got it. People die within 13 months of s- showing symptoms. Damn. But it can take up to 15 years for symptoms to manifest. Yeah, it was like one of those like like slow moving things. Uh huh. But like it it was, I think it came from like farmers feeding cows cows. Oh. Or yeah. something. Really? Like yeah, that's what like it was like a weird cannibalistic thing. Because like they were like beefing them up with beef. <laughs> Jeez. I think I had eat a lot of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how you get the uh, avian flu. Well, shit, what can I eat? Yeah, nothing. You, yeah, you, gotta, you can't eat pigs. Swine no, flu. swine flu. You can't eat bats because they can give you everything. Corona. Yeah. Um, give you a corona with a lime in it. <laughs> <laughs> Stick a lime in me, I'm done. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know. What else we got? I don't know. I think, uh, I think I'm going to go join the Space Force, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to join the Space Force, and I won't have to deal with any of this because I'll be in space. <laughs> Speaking of Space Force, <laughs> uh, we talked about Space Force last week on the, ep- uh, the episode on the, the on last week's episode. episode of the Gamepad Podcast. We talked about Space Force and their uh, shitty uniforms, um, <laughs> and so, how they didn't look like Star Trek uniforms, right? And, and how everyone an was disappointed with that. Uh, but <laughs> President Trump, literally hours ago, just tweeted out uh, the logo for the space force because you know every every branch of the military has got like a crest or a right. uh, insignia or whatever uh so space forces <laughs> is pretty much like exactly right uh star trek starfleet crest yes. like it's got the like little triangle thing it's got the little swoopy around the triangle there's <laughs> stars uh the words are pretty much in the same space it's uh it's pretty much if someone needed to make a Star Trek logo in real life for like a real life thing, this is what they would have come up with. Yeah, it, I mean, <laughs> it really it looks the same. Like, there's no really big difference in it. It's kind of wild. Yeah, and everyone's kind of uh, <laughs> blowing up at them because George Takei especially. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny because everyone was pissed that the uh, uniforms weren't Star Trek enough. But now this logo being like an exact copy of Star Trek Pretty is much. like it's too Star Trek now. The arrow is like a tiny bit smaller, and it's a little more stylized, I guess. But so it's, it's better than Star Trek. It's it's a little more official looking than the the Star Trek one looks cartoony in comparison. I think. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so I, I don't mean, know. Well, it's yeah. it's like too Star Trekky though for people, and they're all like, <laughs> <laughs> like "No, it's it's not what we meant." Right. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's pissed. Like George Takei posted on uh, Twitter. Yeah, too. he's wanting like royalties. You know, as a joke, but I, I would hope. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you never know with yeah. George Takei. Yeah, yeah he's I, just like, where's the line? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing sacred anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean, I don't know. If we are gonna have something as cool as the Space Force, I mean, it, it is kind of cool to model it after. Yeah, I agree Star with Trek. that. Yeah, but. At I least mean, maybe it's maybe that's not just Star the nerd Wars. in me. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
like had it been Star Wars, I would have been very sad. Right. Like if they had done like the Rebel logo. Or yeah. At least we've got like the right like theme going. We're Star Trek over Star Wars. Like. I feel like Star Trek was probably more of a believable storyline, like as far as like right. what could actually happen in real life. Yeah. Star versus Wars like is this just, weird yeah. dictatorship empire, <laughs> which I mean, who knows? But. <laughs> <laughs> no, they actually had like actual science fiction. You know, yeah, like, it was a little more science. science-y. <laughs> well, not actual, so you know what I mean. Yeah, but it, like it was people, a believable science. Like people who actually studied that shit were just like, "All right, let's uh do this weird." So, like, does this make sense? It was like, "No, I mean, I guess maybe theoretically, if blah 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 blah." Like Star Wars didn't have any of that. Yeah. Right, it's it's just, explosions <laughs> in space. Just like <laughs> pew, what pew, pew, pew. if you had space. With magic in it, it's like <laughs> <Yes>. ooh. <laughs> yes. I uh, I actually just read this earlier. Uh, like I, I don't know if George Lucas is pissed, Uh-oh. but like he, th- this article is about like how back in the day uh, there were like no Star Wars characters that had glasses, mm-hmm. and it was because George figured. You know, in a in the future where there's like holograms and like artificial limbs and stuff, like surely you wouldn't need right. like corrective lenses, <laughs> and like it just seems like a weird clunky thing to have in the future, like a pair of glasses. Yeah. Um. But like this new, like since Disney's took it over, there's been like two or three characters with glasses on, <laughs> and it's like you know oh, this is one way that Disney is. Uh, you know, differentiating themselves and, you know, Adding owning glasses. it. Yeah, and it was, like, wow. such a weird thing, but, like, George Lucas apparently was, like, super against glasses in the Star Wars universe. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, yeah. no, it definitely make does. a protest against it, and but then, then they just probably, immediately, like, come but, out. But then, <laughs> see, that, I was on board with all that until, like, the article, like, they were interviewing some guy that, like, worked on, like, one of the original Star Wars movies, and they were like, oh, yeah, George, Lo- uh, jo- George Lopez. George, George Lopez. <laughs> George Lucas was, like, very... Very uh, logic based with Star Wars, like he wanted everything to be like logical, mm. and it, that, that's where I was like, mm, "Never mind, <laughs> I, I don't know about that anymore." It's like maybe, <laughs> like I feel like maybe the glasses thing was the only thought. To, no, never mind. I'm just kidding. It, I'm just being, no, like, I mean, like, being an edge lord. Like gravity doesn't work the way it's really does. Like there's a lot in Star Wars that doesn't follow well, any I mean, logic. Start small. I mean, if yeah. you start with the glasses, we'll get to yeah. the gravity later. It's right. like except that it's magic. You know, <laughs> I can like get over the fact that it's not accurate. But don't try to tell me that it's logical, you know? Right. Like, don't try and make it more than it really is. Though, I should mention that it's not really something I care about all that much, you know? But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, don't try to feed me the bullshit. It's magic, and we love it as magic. Exactly. But it should not be our National Space Force symbol. Wow. (laughs) Actually. Actually. I agree. Thank you. (laughs) Star Trek all the way. There you go. Yeah. You know who also probably loves Star Trek and hates Star Wars? Who? Joe Biden. Uh, <laughs> oh. Maybe not. I, I don't know. know what Joe Biden would. He'd probably hate both because they're violent. We should probably yeah. we should ask that as a poll. Like, <laughs> which which like, do you think Joe Biden prefers? prefers? Star Trek or Star Wars? I feel like that's opening a whole can of worms. <laughs> yeah. We don't want. <laughs> we'll leave it open to suggestions. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm holding back making inappropriate jokes about Joe Biden right now. Oh. Uh, like, wait, as soon as you said that, There's like so 50 many. jokes popped into my head. Just Killing younglings and him Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> he, he wouldn't kill the younglings, but he would make them very uncomfortable. Before. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, hold them weird and... All kinds of wow. shit. So probably <laughs> Star Trek? He'd probably make Palpatine uncomfortable. Wow. <laughs> wow. Like, whoa, whoa, dude. Oh, stop. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't do it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> it's like, God dang, I have a granddaughter for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's true, though. He's just uncomfortable. But yeah, so I'll, I'll go ahead and like talk about this Joe Biden thing because I, I've been very much just sort of, I, I won't say. You've been stewing in it for like a solid I two have, weeks. I've been looking forward to roasting sort of Joe Biden. Not really roasting. <laughs> I, I want to talk about it just to see what you guys think because okay. the situation is very like, it's really stupid how it came up. So he was doing an interview with the New York Times for their like editorial board. Mm-hmm. 
and they talked about a ton of different things. So it wasn't just on that, but like one of the subjects that came up was Joe Biden and his feelings on the tech industry. Hmm. Okay. And Joe Biden went on one of his famous fucking inco like coherent rants yeah. that he does. Oh yeah. Where like he just for some reason he hates the tech industry and he was like calling them arrogant and just like, oh man, they think they know everybody. You know, <laughs> iPhone's the, just as bright and been, talented yeah. as Android. It's literally wow. an old man rambling, you know, just like they think they know everything. They just think they're so smart. And then he got into the gamers, you know, and he oh, pretty no. much said, like, and this is what stood out to everyone. He said that he even talked to a developer who said that he created art and Joe Biden pretty much like, scoffed at the idea and it's oh just gosh. you know he's he called him a and that's he referred to the dude as a creep so it's yeah. like there's one of these developers one of those creeps said that oh he created God. art but you know he like he teaches people how to kill like he makes games that teaches people how to you know murder yeah. and like <laughs> it was like, I mean, he's not wrong. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but he's yeah it was just one of those things like because the way that it sounded, you know, the way that they described it, it sounded like he was saying that the developer came up to him and talked to him about how he creates art in games that teach people how to kill. Right. But really, it was just Joe's rambling. Weirdo. Weird, like, like <laughs> you know, crossing different, you know, like his brain would just sort of... Like mix things. Mix things and picks. Yeah, so... It was just his opinion that that developer didn't create art and that right. he was actually just creating stuff that, you know, ah. just, yeah, he was responsible for the violence in the America, right. essentially. That's what Joe was trying to get across, hmm. but he did it horribly. Like, as, like everything else he does. Biden does. <laughs> so, <laughs> I heard that, like, some people were speculating that it was an EA like and it wasn't a developer it was like yeah it was some the board people, room yeah. suit that was like all right, i make art and it's like exactly fuck off <laughs> <laughs> you don't <laughs> you've made you sell it fifa <laughs> repackaged for 20 years now. right and yeah. it's like you know you could maybe argue like the devs are doing their job and stuff as like artists but like you know the, the higher ups that like joe biden would have been talking to right. at yeah. the time like definitely not Devs, unless like, I can't they were imagine. like, unless they were just more like Blizzard, you know, one of those companies devs. that has like Blizzard's dev team, or at least that might not be the case now with the Activision takeover, right? But a lot of their higher up devs were, you know, in positions of power within the company, like right? Jeff Kaplan, for example, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so there, there's definitely a possibility, <laughs> but like they're being hush hush. If it about. was, if it was like EA, like people were speculating, I just can't see that being a thing. That like they were actually developers. Like I'm sure it was just some like yeah, trusty. <laughs> maybe it's, <laughs> but it just sort of like sparked the debate again. You know, yeah. just like well, oh, well, Joe Biden once again out of touch. Yeah, you know, video games cause violence, and you know we're all murderers in the, in the way. Like, I, I don't even understand. Just, he's so angry about he, it. He's an angry old man. He He's the he's the dude that, like, yells at the sun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> like. I and then bores it to death with, like, a 30-minute long ramble rant. Now, 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 let me let me tell you about the sun. <laughs> you know, I have I have hairs, little white hairs on my legs that turn blonde in the sunlight, and the little children <laughs> love to pull at them and yank them. And Ugh. what? To Joe, stop! What a, what a <laughs> he like, didn't seem this weird during the Obama administration because. But you, then again, we didn't like really get to talk to him it. too much. Right. But like he does, like he did seem a little more normal then. Yeah, and maybe that's just like Obama kind of rubbing off on him. But like something happened between then and now, and he, he was dude replaced. Is damn it, insane! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's the, basically the left version of Trump. Like at this point, it's like he's just out there, man. As far as yeah, some of the things he he says, and like it's just one of those. Except things. he doesn't know how to work Twitter. Yeah, he's an older. <laughs> he's dude. scared of Twitter. <laughs> Rightfully so. Yeah, he thinks very highly. Of himself, which I mean, I guess if you're the you were the former fucking vice president of the United States, yeah, I mean, I, you you might be a little bit arrogant, I guess. Right. But at the same time, you know, I I get a little worried hearing <laughs> things like this. Yeah, yeah, Jeez. just 
like the yeah. information's out there. And he actually mentions that, yeah, he knows that like studies show that video games don't directly cause violence. Uh, but, but he just doesn't I believe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He just doesn't care. Yeah. You know, which and you know, it's, it, it's a great way to base policy. <laughs> yeah. It's strange that like neither side really like you can't look at the left or the right and see either one of them. Well, it's because they're a bunch technology. of old ass boomers. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's there's a problem that it's like it, there's any kind of stigma against technology. Yeah. Like, that's why I'd like to take government. this time to announce that I'm throwing my hat into the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you fucking would. <laughs> I've literally been saying that for so long. Like, I do not. I wish you would run for political office Mm-mm. just because you're an honest person. Nope. And I, I would vote for you. I, no, thank you. I would absolutely <laughs> vote for Andrew Yang. If I'm looking <laughs> for someone who is technologically that's literate. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if he chose you as his VP, I would totally... You know. I feel like I could handle a VP position. Like, what what yeah. does a VP even do? You know, it's, whatever they want. Yeah, they right. just look at it. Joe. He couldn't have been competent <laughs> in that position. Like, I I feel like I could rock a VP. Jesus, you just got to sit there and make the other guy look good. You yeah. know, I, I hype man essentially. When you're, uh, I can hype him up. When you're VP, your only responsibility is to shoot your friends in the face. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. Throwback yeah, for those of you political yep. nerds. That's funny. <laughs> and I could do that. I mean, that's easy. Jesus, but yeah, I I don't know. I just Anyways. thought that was really interesting. I love. Now, like, I was the scared. Memes. I was scared when it came out that like it would spark the whole like video games and violence debate again. And it surprisingly, this one didn't like nah. take off at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think it was because Joe. Joe it was Biden's just Joe sad. Biden ranting and raving about something. <laughs> no weird. one takes it seriously. Yeah. yeah, and at this point, I think we're all just tired of like defending ourselves. At this point. It's just like, but I think no one's really attacking it either. I feel like it's something. No, it was just something random. Yeah, Yeah. but nobody's really like mad at video games. Yeah, and plus the culture shift at this point, except for Karen's. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. fuck fuck you, Karen. I (laughs) I do worry sometimes too because, I mean, Trump has come out against like a sort of thing in the parroting some of the things that Joe Biden said. Right. Not not calling developers creeps, but he also thinks that video games are the root of all evil, right. and he's expressed that before. So I do worry sometimes that some of these people might get together. You know, I mean, they changed the like a, smoking a, a, age for yeah. fuck's sake. Yeah, that's like right. Immediately. Like and me, like just because of a vaping scare that happened a few months ago. Mm-hmm. So all it takes is. One big incident where some gamer does something stupid and they're just like, see, that confirms it. Video games, you got to be 50 to play them. No, geez. I don't know. But they're going to put, it's like, restrict. I, I don't know. I'm nervous, man. I am nervous. I That's all I'm happening. saying. I, I, I don't think they, le- well, I mean, I guess they, no. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to know yeah, anymore. Do I just don't know either. anymore yeah. what happens. Right. But, like, it's one of those things where, like, they'd be restricting expression right. like freedom of expression and shit which is like if there's anything that like americans love besides like the second amendment i feel like it'd be the first right so, uh, so, so, hey, there's anything they love more than the second amendment it's the first amendment. but only when it's convenient uh. right and, and it agrees with whatever yeah, their agenda exactly. is but like it'd be yeah i, it, I don't know because it, it's like Censors, censors, censorship, censorship and right. stuff like that. Yeah. And like, you know, a government basically telling you what you can and can't publish and stuff. Like, it's mm. sketchy. <laughs> like, because if that happens, then but it's like a real slippery cases. slope to like press and media and all kinds of other shit that like we don't want to, you know, fall into. Right. But I feel like there, Russia. It already is. It, like, in, in a lot of cases with different things, like, I feel like that kind of corruption's already there. Like, we have, like, a very light version of it with, like, the FCC and shit like that. Right. But, I mean, there's ways around it, like, this podcast, for example. Is, yeah, no, you know, no, no, we're not, like, oppressed. We're no. We're not an oppressed well, like, nation well, and, for no means. Exactly. <laughs> but, like, and that's we what I mean by, like... Trump like it's nothing. Yeah. Like, right, like, I don't countries. have to fear about, right. like, the KGB jumping through that window and, like, assassinating me right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, hello, comrade. <laughs> I get the word. Did they do that? Okay, I'm sorry. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, good, old, good old Joe Biden. Good old Joe Biden. 
Is that the Tetris theme song? It is not. Oh. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was. It is a, a, a old Soviet like war song. Uh, <laughs> but, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to hear the whole thing. <laughs> That's what YouTube is for. Nice. It is a great song. Yeah, you should definitely yeah, look it Jeremy up. Jeremy, pull it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, pull it up. Uh, Ketusha. <laughs> What were we talking about? <laughs> Joe, Biden Joe Biden being totally down to earth and relatable to the people. Okay, yes. No, 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 he's not. He's like that creepy uncle that everyone wants to forget about. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> not, yeah absolutely. <laughs> oh, he's like when you were a kid, and you, he, he was the one that you thought re- was really cool originally, and then you got a little older, and he started talking more. And, then, <laughs> and you're, you're just like, like oh. oh, oh no! <laughs> it's like one of those. And then you, then you think back to that like time at like right. the, the the pond, <laughs> and you're just like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> It's like one of those old church, <laughs> like old, one of those old church members who would like come up and offer you candy, but would make you go into their pocket oh, to get no. it. <laughs> to get it? Oh wait! I, oh wait! <laughs> Flashback. So <wrong. laughs> okay. Joe Biden, twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Message brought to you by the Bernie gang. <laughs> Get your kids to the polls. <laughs> Give your kids the poll. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus. So anyways, moving on to this, uh, <laughs> some video game discussion. Um all these people out here playing Digimon, but you should have been Digimon. Wait, never mind. I'm just kidding. That was I knew that wasn't going to work. Oh, my God. (laughs) I'm sorry. But you know what Joe Biden has sitting underneath his entertainment system or entertainment system? A PS5. Uh, Oh, wow. No, he doesn't. He's so scared of it. Yeah. He he doesn't want to touch it. He only plays Spyro the dragon. Oh. Oh. Poor Spyro. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of PS5. (laughs) Anyway, uh, the uh, Sony's expected to unveil the PS5 at this like big press conference uh, February fifth. Uh, so there's a good chance that come uh, next week, a week from now ish, right? Mm-hmm. I don't. I, my dates are all screwed up here. Uh, two weeks from now, <laughs> okay. we will have official details on the PS5, Yay! including hopefully what it looks like. Nice. Oh heck yeah. Uh, Obviously, Microsoft and the Series X kind of got the jump on that, like right a month ago at this point. Uh, so it it's it's due time that Sony comes out and shows us what this damn thing <laughs> looks like, and yeah. yeah, gives us any details at, at this point. <laughs> They've been very hush hush about it. Um, there's also a reveal that's rumored to be uh, w- revealed <laughs> alongside it, and it's a piece of hardware. Ooh, a VR <laughs> set. Uh, you weren't supposed to guess right off the bat. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but yes, uh, the PSVR 2 oh! is is rumored to uh, be revealed alongside rumored. the PS5. Yeah, Damn. it's rumored. The, uh, any- and the rumor is basically, uh, so Immersive VR Education oh. st- Studio. Oh. They're a uh, developer of like PSVR games. They did like the Titanic experience in VR and oh. something oh. else. Deep some Blue space. Sea, there's... Yeah, they did a couple things. Okay. Um, on a, uh, what was it, a financial report call thing, they had said that, uh, or leaked, that a new VR system from Sony is coming uh, this year. Or going to be announced and stuff, and it's also rumored to have uh, eye tracking and uh, be completely wireless. Damn! What? Yeah. So that's fucking cool. Yeah, and it's supposed to be that you know, like I said, it's rumored to be revealed alongside the PS5, which would be huge because that's like if I had yes. a PS5, <laughs> right? Uh, it'd be really cool if there was a bundle deal with the PS VR2 and the PS5. Uh, what do you think that would cost? About oh my god, a, a, about tree fifty. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> about a, a grand. Tree fitty, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking probably upwards of a grand, yeah, yeah. at least for that. Um, probably maybe like. <laughs> never mind. Oh. You're looking at me weird. No, I was waiting. I was, I was waiting for <laughs> to, <laughs> for yeah. a number. Um, but yeah, so the eye tracking thing, and then the uh, uh, the wireless and everything, like. 
I mean, if they if they do that right, it would be such a big win for VR. Right. Like in a sense, like not that it could, it might be able to like compete with the like oh, the Vive dude, and the yeah. Oculus and stuff. That but would like, be cool. Uh, just to make it more accessible to people, because like, I guess I guess for the new Oculus, you don't need the the, the gaming PC because it's all self contained. Mm-hmm. Um, but like with the Vive and all the other Oculus renditions, you need a like a right. really decent PC that can like run all that stuff. At least like a ten sixty. Uh, mm-hmm. GPU to run it and all that kind of crap. Uh, so the fact that you'll be able to run a lot of this VR stuff uh, on a console wirelessly, and then it has features like eye tracking and that kind of thing, uh, could potentially be like you know ushering in like VR into like the more mainstream. Yeah, absolutely. Which would be great so because cool. if you know if it, VR really needs something to like kind of push it right past that point that it's at now, which is like more of like a <laughs> hobbyist sort of. Yeah, like, niche thing, uh, but yeah, like once VR hits mainstream, it's gonna be it's gonna change the game. So I think like it's kind of cool. Like I think that just it's going along with the trend wave right now, because it mainly right now it's the nostalgia age. Like we want to be retro. All these new consoles, like basically, what's gonna make or break them is their backwards compatibility. Like mm-hmm. that's crazy to think of that. Like. Right now, as far as technology goes, we're just trying to, like, get something that'll play games from, like, 20 years ago. Right. Like, I feel like once this kind of, like, excitement over it is done with, then we can kind of transfer into the, like, okay, now everyone's going to try to, like, outdo each other, like, tech-wise, like, making the coolest fucking thing possible. So I feel like it's going to start changing, like, like gaming is going to start changing rapidly soon. But it, it poses an interesting thought for the current like upcoming console war because like if xbox right. really is completely backwards compatible with like all the old games and stuff mm-hmm. and for whatever reason if ps5 is not or is but like kind of like shittier but like they have this focus on like you know new vr and like can actually right. like handle like super high def 4k and like, like they all lost this like the battle but they could have they could be winning the war right but, now. Well, it's more like just two different systems for two different things kind of thing. That yeah, okay. So like Xbox would have like all the retro library and oh. like be like kind of the old school but like, you know, it can handle the new stuff. Instead Whereas of- P- like the PS5 would be like, you know, it can kind of handle the old stuff but then it's like really shining Focus in like the, the new new stuff, new stuff yeah. and moving it so forward. So instead of like And then the Switch is over here other. just like, you know, shitting on everybody. Yeah. But uh <laughs> <laughs> family, we'll go like family co-op <laughs> for them, and and good game. So just good games. I mean, that yeah. could be like if they partnered together, if they made it where like okay, they know each like Nintendo and Sony and Microsoft, like they're all three good at their own different things. Like if they keep it like that, they might be able to compete with Stadia and like right, cloud like that gaming. cloud gaming thing, which is something that so they that are sense. teaming up to try to like curb because right. like once cloud gaming happens, it's kind of the end of the console era for you know, all intents and purposes. Cause like, if you can just cloud game on anything, you know, like, including your phone and all you need is like a controller, like a Bluetooth controller. Right. Like what would the point of having a console be <laughs> besides taking up space on your entertainment center? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So if it can, if you can do these m- more things with this right. technology. Yeah. And I mean, like you could argue that like the new Oculus kind of is already making PS vr2 obsolete since like you don't need a pc but they could but rapidly it's also change like game. well and it's also like it's such a high cost barrier to entry and everything not mm-hmm. that the ps vr2 is going to be like super affordable i'm sure yeah i mean right. the ps the vr1 was like People 400 bucks iPhones. yeah when it came out and that was like just the headset and, yeah like, without the, the camera yeah and the move controller so mm-hmm. you know i I'd imagine like if the pricing rumors and everything are consistent with like what we've been hearing, uh, there would be a bundle like with everything, and it would probably end up being definitely upwards of a grand. But you know, it, and at that price, it's it you can maybe build like a PC that could handle it, right. like VR stuff, plus get like a you know an okay Oculus headset, not like the self-contained one, maybe, but like you know. Something that could handle yeah. VR, but if PlayStation can do it better, 
than like a a mid-tier gaming system, then it might be worth it, you know? Yeah, because mine, Um, I don't think mine can handle VR, can it? Yours could. It it would struggle a little bit, I think, but you could. I mean, it was close to a grand. I mean, it was like 800, right? That was kind of, we built yours at the wrong time. (laughs) It was at the height of like the RAM price uh, hike and GPUs were just coming off of the the Bitcoin mining Mm -hmm. craze. So like everything was way more expensive. Everything's come down in price like a ton now. Mm. So like you could probably build that for you know probably closer to like six hundred. So yeah, but to have a better one that could run it, right? Right. Probably be about eight hundred. Mm, yeah, I'd say about eight, and then you throw in the the you know the headset and everything. It, you're you're close to a grand anyway. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think the fact that like one thing that's gonna help Sony in this is the fact that they are a household name. Right. Yes. And they've oh, sold sure. more consoles mm-hmm. than, like, fucking people in Amsterdam. Like, <laughs> right. <they're> like, <laughs> yeah. It's just, like, they have the infrastructure and the presence in they have the so many places yeah. to really sell that thing. Right. And some communities only play Xbox. Like, <laughs> or not Xbox, a PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah. yeah, right. You know, like... Xbox is trash. Yeah, <laughs> they're the Xbox players, but you know that PS4 fan base, man, they oh, are huge. loyal they're as fuck. Yeah. Um, so I, I think it'll do well. I hope the price point isn't absolutely ridiculous. Right. You know? I mean, like at, at max, I could maybe see them trying to get like twelve ninety nine for it. Yeah. For but that bundle. it's got to be fucking spectacular, and there's they have to launch games with it too. Right. Yeah. Like there's got to be a better library for it because right now it's like what uh, Skyrim, and I think there's like a Batman game that you can buy for it. Like the the the, the <laughs> Artavius has like this like surprised look on his face. I'm, it was something I remembered. Okay. <laughs> But is continue. No, I was. I'm done. Oh, you were done. Yeah, pretty much. I yeah. was like, it hit my brain. <laughs> it hit my brain, and I was just like, how did I not remember this? But apparently, there was a rumor that they were going to release like Overwatch and PS5. There may be a possible thing happening between those two mm-hmm. for the launch of the PlayStation Five v- with like- VR. I don't know with the VR, but for some, like, something happened, something leaked, someone dropped the ball somewhere, and I don't remember exactly where I saw it. Let's see if you can find that, Sarah. Yeah. <clears throat> but. I wonder what, like, Overwatch 2, but, like. That's what, that's that seems what people early were for thinking. Overwatch 2 and if plus, it's launching later this year. Yeah, plus, what could they do? Because they can't release, you can't have an exclusivity deal with no, PlayStation. No, it's a PC game. Like, yeah. So. You know, but like, but they could have an exclusive PSVR two release. But possible that would make people Overwatch fucking sick. VR. Gee, fuck that, dude! I would play that. I would get so sick. I get sick just playing regular yeah, VR for dude, the most part. There's like, no fucking way that would be crazy. Like you break your neck trying to like spin around and <laughs> to be insane. Uh, but yeah, I'm really curious, like. I'm going to be really bummed if this rumor is not true <laughs> and they don't release PSVR 2 uh, with the PS5 launch. I think it makes sense for them to. Like, there's really no reason not to because, um, like, you don't need the PSVR 2 for the PS5. It just makes it better. And if they do that, it would kind of give them – because, like, Microsoft doesn't have, at least at this point, a VR, like, system that is bundled with theirs. So – it would it would kind of push people more towards Sony, like you know, oh, I can either buy an Xbox Series X or a PS Five. Like, what do I buy? I can either play a bunch of old games, right. and if you're a retro gamer, that's kind of like your shtick. But then it's like, oh, PlayStation's got the VR thing I could get eventually down the road. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe I'll hit, just buy the PS Five and right. get that at a later date or something. You know, so it's uh, it definitely makes sense. That's cool. I'm excited. I can't wait for like the progression of VR. And yeah, I know it, it's yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, um, was it maybe about the release date? Like the because uh, it was like a this couple is the weeks Overwatch ago. Two leak that yeah. he was talking about. Um, Possibly. oh yeah, that's right. They released this. It was Brazil, PlayStation Brazil leaked the fucking date for Overwatch right. 2. That's oh, what it was. Yeah. yeah. What is it? It said um, 
Oh, I should have lost it. Uh, <laughs> 2020 will be the the year Overwatch 2 comes to PS4 before deleting the tweet. Like, So it's coming to PS4. Right, but it was immediately deleted. So it, it might be... Com- it might be sooner than the PS5 launch in December. Yeah, it's going to be sooner than or November. It could be taken either way. Like, maybe either it was supposed to be... Or it's probably going to launch on both, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's absolutely going to launch on yeah. both. <laughs> yeah, they won't have a new game and have it strictly for that. But if they right. have it VR without the Telegus, like, yeah, that would be fucking crazy. <laughs> I am not playing Overwatch in VR. I oh think my you God, guys are overestimating. How- yeah. <laughs> I... I- there was this there was this uh, movie called Gamer, I think, and I've talked about it a couple times. I don't think I've talked about it on the podcast. So. I don't remember. Um, but it, it's about, like, this guy playing his character basically in VR, almost like he's piloting a drone. But he's, like, doing the motions, and he's got, like, a whole room and, like, projector screens all around him that kind of show his environment. And he's uh. just, like, running through the whole envi- the thing. <laughs> like, I want that to be the future <laughs> yeah, a whole room a whole vr room with VR. like the tactile everything yeah. God, that would be so cool mm, that would be cool i would be like that would be the one time that i ever have abs is like <laughs> maybe, from all the vr from all the workouts running. and stuff <laughs> <laughs> like playing call of duty you gotta get some at like you got your muscles are probably gonna be toned i'm getting my abs muscles. from ring fit adventure ring fit yeah adventure. <laughs> so i gotta buy that yeah do I'm, our I'm, ring fit I'm, I'm adventure challenge it. Get it. it's gonna happen <laughs> yeah maybe maybe when we get back from uh this weekend trip we're going on we'll uh we'll buy some ring fit adventure <laughs> That'd be cool. if we do you gotta like do your whole minchu look <laughs> oh yeah oh my god oh for sure god that's so funny nice yeah so uh Speaking of PlayStation and stuff, uh, the PS4 just won an award for Best Console of the Decade. Whoop, whoop. Yay, at the Future Tech Award, which is which is brand spanking new. Which is pretty ironic, yeah. considering they have a, a Decade Award for the Future... What was it called? The uh, Future Tech Awards. Future Tech Awards. <laughs> <laughs> which is like, what do they give awards out for? For future tech. But, like, it's not here yet. Yeah, tech that's made. (laughs) The future part is just to sound fancy. Uh, It's just tech that's made an impact. And Google apparently was a juggernaut there. Hmm. Google Home and all that. Google Assistant. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. They've pretty much been making most of the innovations. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, no, they they, especially the last 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I remember when being a kid, like, Google was the place that, like, everyone wanted to work at. Oh, yeah. Like, that was, like, a coolest, like, they advertised their work environment. No, yeah. Right. It's like, oh, they have, like, bean bags. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're cool. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> no, they have, like, plan. coffee machines in there. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can bring your dog to work. Whoa. Whoa. And now, like, fucking Amazon does right. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now it's just ever normal for newer right. companies. It was like the churches that got people there by having like the, video games and yeah, basketball and like the, courts and the, stuff. Right. Yeah, <laughs> the big ass bounce houses. And shit. We have a youth group. Just like, you, you, you want to come work here? Let me tell you. Right. They're like the Christian rock of bands. <laughs> <laughs> Little did we know. So, anyways. Uh, so. <laughs> Going over like the last decade of consoles, what do right. we have? We've got 3DS. Yeah. The, we've got the Nintendo 3DS, the PS Vita, the Wii U, the Xbox One, and the Xbox Xbox One S and X. Okay. And then PS4 and the PS4 Pro and Nintendo Switch. Hmm. So. I mean, out of all of those, I would definitely give PS4 the award for that. Right. Like, kind of hands down. Like, yeah. you, you could maybe argue the Switch maybe i don't know i loved my 3ds i think (laughs) based off of the pacing of the uh switch and i think that's if we're growing by like sales and things like that which i think played a play a massive role in this as well like then i i think you could if more time had passed if the switch had been released maybe four years ago maybe yeah but like just like the joy con issues with them and like (laughs) just their like general warranties and like just the problems that the switch has had and like the the lack of like updates it's been getting 
like I, I don't know if I would it's definitely the closest to the PS4 out of like the rest of them I think like I'd put it above the Xbox just because there's actually good games to play on the Damn. Switch. <laughs> yeah. Uh I mean the PS Vita but To be fair, I'd put the 3DS above the Xbox one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a compelling I, I argument. Too. I mean like the 3 the, actually the 3DS is actually really like a cool piece of tech right. like when you was... consider the 3D aspect of it and mm-hmm. stuff without glasses like that blew my mind. Yeah. And gave me a headache. <laughs> um, the PS Vita was a little underrated, but again, it's like just nobody had it. Yeah, so, it like, sold really well in Japan, but the states, it just and it didn't even outsell the 3DS in Japan. So like, <laughs> it was just eh, it was whatever. And the Wii U, obviously, I mean, like, <laughs> as, it shouldn't even be mentioned in Aww. like anything of the decade, yeah. except for like maybe worst launch. The, shove that one yeah. under the rug. Oh, speaking of Wii U, did you know they released two games recently? The Wii U. Yeah. They were no. two indie developers <laughs> released some games. I actually wrote it down here for the Wii U. Yeah, like exclusively. Yep. Oh, no, like... no, they came up on other systems too, so uh, Xbox and PC. Uh, let's see, Shakedown Hawaii was released like this weekend, like some hmm. this week, and it just happened to be on the Wii U. Yeah, it's on the Wii U. I it, it's, they a, it's a top-down their... Grand Theft Auto style game. Oh wow, like OG. <laughs> oh yeah. And then a 3D platformer called Regina and Mac released last week on Wii U. I thought the Wii U stopped its like eShop and stuff. <laughs> it did. Like, it, How do you nothing... buy these games for the... So, I guess they're physical disc. Oh. <laughs> and, That's one way to do it. Yeah, like Just Dance 2020 was supposed to be the last game that came out for the Wii U, but two more have popped up. <laughs> so, like, one it, of... It's still the last game for the, the Wii. Yeah, <laughs> I still I, I I love going to like Walmart and seeing that in the case like we, it it's in like all of like the new Xbox stuff and and then there's like a Wii game yeah it's like the only white box in there it's I, it's so weird looking I love that game I love like we have it at work but I they actually don't have a Wii U version if they do it's like very very hard to find really yeah but like. It sucks having to use that Wii version at work because you're using the old like yep. the oh, Wii, the Joy-Con, or uh, that's the Joy-Con, bar. the Wii Mote, Wii, sensor bar exactly, oh, and right. it's so hard. It is janky. to get yeah. kids By to today's. like point shit. And after like there have been times where I do a school event, and after each song, the kid will come in. We need your help. We can't change the song, <laughs> and then I have to oh, like oh damn the Wii, like the Wii U. <laughs> They made it so you could use the D-pad to move. Right. And you can only do that sometimes on the Wii. So, like, I don't like that. That, (laughs) They did me dirty there. You know. Damn it. They ain't right. (laughs) I hate it. Oh, my God. Working at GameStop, like, Wii is probably the worst fucking thing to trade in. Like, Like, no one likes you if you come in to trade in a Wii. Like, that's just hands down. Every... Because you have to set up everything. Yeah, every... uh, Oh, that's right, to test out. No, yeah, you have to... Before you can take it in to sell it, you have to, like, set up everything and make sure it works. Right. So, literally, like, because the sensor bar was so, like, finicky... You couldn't just like set it on the counter and then like aim the the controller at it. Like it wouldn't work. Like, <laughs> you, you had to make this like pose, like you were like uh, oh, like right, drawing you had to a get, bow like, far enough right. away back. Because you had so you had to like draw a bow like with this like sensor <laughs> bar in one hand and like the the, the the controller in the other. And like I would always like pose with it, and they'd be so, like, "That's not wah. gonna work." And I'm just like, Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking magician. Yeah, that's funny. It was like, so annoying. The Wii, like as a collector, uh, it's it's really hard finding <laughs> a good shape Wii. Because man, those things They're were beat so to shit yeah. <laughs> by everyone. Like, and they they get mm-hmm. all scratched up. That stupid flap that covers the yeah, GameCube was ports was off. always broken off and missing. Like, I have yet to find one that's mm-hmm. like intact. People will br- bring them in, and they would smell like dog pee. Oh no! Not like I don't know kidding. why, like, but like the Wii, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, it's like the most abused it's system disgusting. in the world. Like I've never seen something look so gross. Besides, like maybe an old Game Boy Color. Yeah, that was like with the batteries left in, so like the yeah. acid just like ate everything, and like they just like chucked it across the concrete a couple times. <laughs> but like Wii's are just like overall worse yeah. in shape. Everyone no. had them. Like, yeah, and, they and like just... they all stuck them under something because like they're all scratched <laughs> the shit. 
they're like the the equivalent of like the Xbox 360 discs, like right. as a console. Like yes, the like whole the, console. the the 360 boxes are always like right. chewed up and, and like the disc. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. but yeah. God, it's so gross. It's, like yeah, I it's think disgusting. it's because, especially with Nintendo, like it's for kids exactly, <laughs> and the. They are made as toys, essentially. Yeah. Like, the kids are like, super rough with them. Even, like, GameCube and, like, N64, though, are usually in better shape compared to uh, the Wii. Like, it's just, I don't know, yeah. like, the shitty plastic they use from, like, China. I don't know. But, like, they... Uh, Plus, I think people who took care of their Wiis probably don't want to get rid of them. That could be. They're playing know? Just Dance on them. So. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like I all the time at work get people who are just like I still play my Wii all the time like adults kids mm. freaking it doesn't matter yeah everyone <laughs> mm-hmm. it's cool yeah no it's definitely definitely a solid system I just wish it was uh, made Cleaner. of better materials <laughs> <laughs> I mean no it's pretty durable for the shit that it goes through I, guess. I mean it still works for sure but right. it's like I just want like a good looking one like if I could find one new in a box somewhere like sealed that'd oh, be great good luck <laughs> good luck with that i would love that uh yeah so uh so moving on into our last thing for before we wrap this up uh sarah has a little game for us to play <laughs> okay so the other day uh blizzard senior director and editor-in-chief <clears throat> dan shu uh posted like a blizzard quiz and the title of it is bob ross or diablo so <laughs> I'm I've got intrigued. I've got a list of quotes here, and I'm going to read it, and you have to tell me if it was a should we, Diablo uh, quote. Should we wipe this board off and keep score? You should. Sure. Uh, you did be, you write that in marker? I'll grab that. Uh, I didn't see it, but you should put something behind that paper because I can see the marker. I was going to read it in a different. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let me let me erase all this. We don't need this anymore. I'm erasing the board. You had a notebook right in front of you. You could have used it. No, I'm <laughs> like, we're being uh, green. <laughs> we're being environmentally friendly by using a whiteboard. No, that's fair. Fine. God, get with Can't the time, Sarah. Can't argue with that logic. <laughs> <laughs> we just bought metal, metal straws for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we care about the... Nah, I don't know. <laughs> we try. <laughs> Barely. Uh, but we're getting there. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. True. It's really hard to be environmentally friendly. It's frustratingly hard. Like yeah, especially when the environment is such a dick <laughs> and doesn't have convenient just ways to destroy things. <laughs> like maybe if we had a volcano nearby, you know, where we could dump shit. Wow. We wouldn't. No. No. no actually, so I follow this page. Um, it's what if uh-huh. on Facebook, and they do like, oh, what if you I think did you told this? Me about yeah, that, and it was like, what if we dumped all of our like garbage into volcanoes? And it was talking about how, like, how it wouldn't work, basically. I was going to say, like, th- someone did a uh, an experiment on a volcano, and they videoed it. It's like, uh, what was it? I think it was t- Star Wars, actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you know, if you fell into lava, like, you wouldn't just burn like right. Anakin did and shit like that. Like, so they threw this, like, sack of, uh, I don't know, some ty- something that would, like, mimic human right. stuff. Yeah, like, I don't like or like some type of organ meat and like whatever yeah. they so like they threw it into the the lava and shit like exploded yeah. I mean, like it was <laughs> the insane temperature difference it well, like that and like the yeah like explode. the steam and everything mm-hmm. like it just like i mean and it was violent yeah. like it was insane mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's, like, it's the same as if you were to put if you like, threw garbage away and the, it would just like cause <laughs> havoc Like, so when you heat up a pan, like when you're cooking or something, and you go and you immediately put cold water on it, it fucking, like, sizzles because the the temperature, like, it's the same thing. It warps the pan sometimes, too. Right. It's crazy. I love science. (laughs) Science (laughs) rules. Science. Fuck you. All right, so I got the the scoreboard ready. Okay. Let's do this. So we have to determine if each quote was said by either Bob Ross or... A character in Diablo? Yeah, anything. Yeah, just a Diablo quote. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> we. Re- oh, fuck. I messed up already. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really know where this goes, and I'm not sure we really care. Bob Ross or Diablo? I'm going to say Bob Ross. I'm going to also say Bob Ross. Mm. So, 
Okay, wait, how do we score this yeah. before we reveal the answer here? Just just right and wrong? Yeah, if you one get it right. right. Yeah, okay. yeah, one point for right. So you okay. both got it right. Yeah, yeah it was nice. Bob Ross. You both get a point. That sounds like something <laughs> nice Bob Ross would say yeah. about a painting. You know? <laughs> All right. Just beat the devil out of it. That's definitely yeah, Bob Ross. Definitely Bob Ross. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I've right. watched his Me. Twitch streams. Yeah, I've seen I know. that too. I love that <laughs> yeah. All right. A secret door hidden behind a waterfall. How imaginative. Yeah, it's Diablo. definitely Diablo. Yes, it is Diablo. <laughs> All right. We're three for three. Yep. You're right on. <laughs> Thank you for helping me fight the darkness. Hmm. That, oh man. Yep. Bob Ross has gone dark a couple times, so that seems like something that he would like thank his uh his audience for or something, you know? Right. Yeah, I could absolutely but that's what I was that thinking. That sounds too. like something cheeky that like Blizzard would put in a Diablo game. <laughs> wow. You know, like you know, thanks for helping us fight the darkness. <laughs> so uh, you have five seconds. Uh, uh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Um, it was actually Diablo. Damn it. <laughs> nice. I knew I should have went yeah. with my gut. I guessed myself. Yeah. I second guessed myself. And I'm going out of order, too. So, um, See how it fades right into nothing. That's just what you're looking for. Bob Ross? For me? I think that's a Bob Ross quote. Probably a Let's cloud see, or a tree or could something. Could you read it one more time, please? See how it fades right into nothing. That's just what you're looking for. I want to say Bob Ross for the same reasons, <laughs> but I'm going to go Diablo to be different. I, I feel like we need to like make sure the audience knows that like we've never played Diablo. <laughs> yeah. So, so like we're really this like kind better. of pulling it this out of our ass. A guessing game here. <laughs> like right. we both seen Bob, seen Bob Ross though. So, yeah, several, so several episodes. I worth. don't want to go Diablo <laughs> on this, but I will go Diablo just for the sake of it. All right. Mark gets a point. Hey. It is Bob Ross. Just hey, to make baby. it, you know, competitive. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, if you become thirsty, I can conjure up some water for you. Wait, why? <laughs> why would they even put th that's Bob if, Ross? If that's no. a Bob Ross quote, <laughs> I have more questions than anything. He's Diablo. making waterfalls. I'm going to say Diablo. Yeah, Diablo. Yes, it is Diablo. Okay. I mean, he could, he could be making waterfalls. You never know. Yeah, I don't. Could maybe be chasing waterfalls. I guess, the, <laughs> I guess you could. Yeah, that sounds like maybe something he could say during like a, a water lake right. scene or something. I got you thirsty. <laughs> I'll just paint some water here for you. <laughs> These dark corridors are painted with the dried blood of Laric's subjects. Yeah, I'm gonna go what, with. Uh, I think I'm gonna go <laughs> with Diablo on that one. <laughs> uh, that's definitely a Bob Ross. Some yeah, it's a this. hard one, but. Uh, I think I'll say Diablo. Yeah, it's Diablo. Some of this sounds like propaganda. I don't even want to give game. us a point for that. Like that was yeah. so just ridiculous. All right. They definitely did that to be cheeky. Yeah. You can do anything you want. This is your world. Bob Ross. It sounds like Bob sure. Ross. Yeah, it's Bob Ross. Okay. You can't do anything you want in Blizzard games. Are you kidding yeah, me? True. Yeah. They're not happy. But Bob's Bob Ross's world. Anything. Anything's anything is possible. possible. <laughs> We must take care here. There are shadows at every turn. That definitely Diablo. sounds like Diablo. Yeah, it's Diablo. Why right. is this so damn easy? Yeah. <laughs> Did you not it's, like pre screen it's, this? It's because it, like it sounds like they just thought it would be uh, Bob Ross is a meme. That's yeah. <laughs> it's just a random person. They could have like done the same exact thing with Ashton Kutcher and it's still this came straight from corporate. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Bob Ross says beat the devil out of it. That could be a line in our game. <laughs> Let's do like a whole quote oh my God. game thing. That's probably what they did. I, I guarantee you that's what they did. Yeah. Activision. All right. Maybe if I hide in the trees, they wouldn't notice I was gone. That's that's a tough one. Yeah, if Bob Ross said that. That's it's kind of sad. Poor poor he guy. He might not be talking about himself. Oh, maybe. Happy mistakes. He didn't he didn't paint Happy like accidents. uh Oh, maybe. I was thinking maybe he like made an animal in a tree. Oh. Like all I've ever seen him do is like the, you know, the landscape the bird yeah. like kind of silhouette. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's I don't yeah, think he's ever painted animals. He's not, he's a landscape dude. Yeah. Little cottages, and happy little trees and rocks. So peaceful. Waterfalls. So no answers. Deer. 
Uh, I'm going to go Diablo. Could you read it once more, please? Maybe if I hide in the trees, they wouldn't notice I was gone. Uh, could you use it in a sentence, please? <laughs> Maybe if I hide in the trees, they wouldn't notice I was gone. Um, I'm going to go with... Can I get the uh, language of origin on that? Maybe if I hide in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> English, motherfucker. <laughs> Do you speak it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go Diablo. Yeah, it's Diablo. Hey. All right. Um, you need the dark in order to show the light. That's a Bob Ross. Sounds like Bob Ross. But it I'm going to. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not Bob, Ross. Bob Ross. It's not Bob Ross? <laughs> Damn it. It is Bob Ross. It yeah. is Bob Ross. Yeah, that's fine. You I was going to change it when yeah. you saved me. Thank Sorry. You. <laughs> that you... sounds too like deep and inspiring for a Diablo yeah. game. Plus, I'm like trying to re- remember the setting of Diablo 2, and you know, I don't know. I'm yeah. just like, what, what? I don't think would, that's a hopeful someone... game. No, it's not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so... I can see everything. Water on a leaf. Mm. That sounds a little too deep for Diablo, but it might be some weird, like, artsy thing that they were trying to, like, be deep with, you know? They're not trying to be deep in Diablo, man. Yeah, not even know. one inch of Diablo is. <laughs> it's just about slaying demons. That's Doom. <laughs> I think. No, you slay demons in Diablo. I mean, you might, too, yeah. To be honest. <laughs> you slay demons in almost everything. Yeah. yeah. Like, it... uh, I'll yeah. say... I'll say Diablo then. Okay. Um, uh, let's go with Bob Ross. It is Diablo. <gasps> yeah. Dang. I figured this much. <laughs> um, all right. One more. There is a passage just beyond that waterfall. Uh, let's go Diablo. Bob Ross? It is Diablo. Ah. So Mark missed one. <laughs> So I got I got ten points and Artavius got nine. nine. Yay! Hey, ding, 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 very ding, ding, nice. But I think the real winners are the <laughs> friends we made along the way, <laughs> which is you, the listeners. Hey, <laughs> thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Game Paid Podcast. Please collect your things that you uh, stored in the lockers and drive safe. Have a good night. <laughs> Keep all hands to yourself <laughs> as you exit the vehicle. <laughs> bye bye. Mm-hmm. Please stand clear of the doors. Mm-hmm. But no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but seriously, yes, thank you guys for tuning into this episode. We appreciate you. Uh, be sure to hit us with a subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to us on, which is Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Podbean, TuneIn, iHeart, or YouTube. <laughs> so if you're on any of those Thanks. or you prefer any of those, be sure to. Uh, Check us out on those. You should and, uh, relearn that in the style of like Wacko's uh, fucking. Oh, I, th- I thought you were going to say like uh, the Pokemon rap. Um, oh, that could I be. I was thinking that. Timmy Turner. <laughs> no, uh, uh, it, green juice, Baba juice. <laughs> TikTok and Twitter and YouTube. And <laughs> <laughs> Apple and Google and Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Podbean, TuneIn, I'd Harden. And <laughs> they don't rhyme. To, uh, it's, it's hard. That's okay. They don't rhyme. We can make it. I'll write we'll it. Make, we'll, I'll write we'll it for write you. It. Right. When you guys get back from the trip, I'll have I'll have it done. Hell nice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, be sure you're subscribed to the show on there so you get uh, auto downloads and you know notifications when we uh, do post new show and stuff yep, yep, yep. Uh, every Monday morning. Uh, and be sure to leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Uh, I don't think any of the other ones you can review us on, but if you can, by all means. I think you can comment on Spotify. Can you comment yeah. on Spotify? I think you can. You might be able to on iHeart as well. I haven't like messed around with that app right. too much, but uh, if you can, where you're listening to us, by all means. Uh, and then you know, leave a comment on YouTube. We uh, we like reading them. Yeah. They're nice sometimes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Just type in the Gamepad Podcast, and we'll pop up. So hit us with a subscribe and a follow and a like and whatever on there. We've got a lot of content on our Facebook page. We're almost at a. I think we're, we're like twenty five four, four four. No twelve. Aren't we over twelve? Uh, oh, followers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, twelve thousand followers. I think we're almost. I thought we were over eleven. Yeah, eleven four. four four four. I thought we were closer to thirteen. Mm, fought like no wait no you're right yeah never mind. <laughs> anyways uh, anyways yeah uh, YouTube we have like a whole twenty subscribers so <laughs> 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 hurry on over there please. <laughs> 
Uh, and then check us out uh, at the Gamepad Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I am posting to Twitter way more than I used to. Yeah, yeah, Good. like a lot more, nice. and it's uh, it's nice. I'm actually getting some engagement on there, oh, like very nice. retweets and likes and stuff. We so, will have a Reddit soon too. Hopefully, uh, yep. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I forgot we like discussed that yeah. for like ten minutes and never really did anything with it. Yeah. But we might we might make a, a subreddit at some point, so we'll let you guys nice. know when that happens. Uh, and then for streaming services. For our Minecraft Mondays and whatnot, uh, twitch.tv slash the gamepad podcast, and then uh, on Facebook Live on our Facebook page. Uh, if you're following us on there, you'll you'll get notified. I think I think everybody gets right. notified. Yeah, we go live pretty frequently now. We yeah, more we're, often. we're doing that a little more often. We did uh, <laughs> Killing Floor two yeah. the other day, God, which was, was fun. So much fun. Yeah, that was that was a hard game to play on PC compared to like the <laughs> PS4. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like the. The, the sensitivity curve. was yeah. a little different, yeah. And plus, we hadn't played that in like over a year, so like it was weird getting used to. But it, God, good game, yeah, really good yeah. game. Uh, and then our Minecraft stream, our Minecraft realm has been popping. We got oh, a lot yeah. of crazy stuff going on in there. A lot of quests we have to go on. We're uh, getting ready for the Ender Dragon soon. Yep, Artavius needs his shulker boxes. I really need he's, shulker. Boxes. <laughs> he, he's hankering for some shulker we have, boxes. We have more than enough Ender pearls now. Nice. So I'm super stoked. So we can totally do that next stream. Oh yeah. Nice. I'm so excited. And then uh keep an eye out for our merch. We've got uh yeah. stuff coming soon. We've got t shirts printing. Uh and, and those will be at www.thegamepadpodcast.com. Yeah. The uh, site's not live yet. It no. it might be <laughs> it might be by the time this episode goes up. I'll have to mess around with yeah. it. But uh we'll have uh episodes on there we'll have blog posts the merch uh, it'll be it'll be a good time yeah good time so gamepad pod the gamepad podcast.com because we are the gamepad podcast.com <laughs> uh <laughs> so yeah with all that being said we appreciate you guys listening thank you for tuning in and uh we will see you next week bye bye <laughs> <laughs>